everybody, it's Mina, and today in this video, and sorry if I look kind of weird, I'm kind of sweaty right now. It's really hot outside, and outside, and um, I'm just sweaty. Oh, by the way, I don't know if you guys notice, can tell, but I dyed my hair pink. Pink. It may it's showing up kind of like purple on the camera. I don't know why, why, but my, again, my camera picks up weird lighting. Yeah, I dyed my hair yesterday um, pink. Pink. I wonder if you guys. I don't know if you guys can see that. But I dyed my hair pink. I just wanted to show you guys that. So anyway, this is not the point of the video anyway. I'm going to do a top 10 oldie song. Sorry, my head was itchy. Um, and for those who don't know, I really, really, really love the oldies. I grew up listening to oldies, old bands from like the 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, or whatever. Actually, not really the 80s. I'm more of like the 60s or 50s. I have no idea. I One of those eras. I grew up listening to a lot of stuff, stuff like that, because my mom and dad like a lot of that stuff, and my aunt and uncle. I love the oldies. I'm just like a big fan of listening to them. So anyway, I'm going to get started, and if you guys, um, and I do have a video, some videos of me singing some of these songs. Um, if you guys are interested in hearing them, I will put the links down in the description box. Okay, so I'm going to get started. <clears throat> Number one on my list would have to be Pretty Woman by Roy Orbison. I was like five when I first heard this song, and I found this song like pretty, and um, I heard, turn it on, I heard this song when I was like, think five or something, I don't remember how old I was, and um, I stopped, I didn't hear it for like a couple years, and then I turned it on a couple years later, like when I was I think 13 or something, I don't remember. And I just really enjoyed the song. The music, the beat, it's pretty catchy. And Roy Orbison has awesome pipes. I was super impressed. I'm super impressed with like the way he puts the lyrics together. Yeah, there, he's a great singer. <laughs> singer, and I do have a video up of me singing Pretty Woman. And if you're interested in that, I will link that down below. <laughs> Number two on my list would have to be one that my mom introduced me to a couple months ago and it's called Knock Three Times and I do have by Tony Orlando and I do have a video up of me singing that song and I will link that down below. This was one my grandma listened to a lot and I didn't know until my mom told me. I really have to admit it's a pretty catchy song too by the beat, the lyrics. I love it how like they put the lyrics together. He put the lyrics together in that song. Number three on my list would have to be Staying Alive by the Bee Gees. I actually, fun fact is I went to a Bee Gees concert with my friend, um, a Barry Gibbs concert, and uh, the, for those who don't know, Barry Gibbs is a, was, used to be a member of the Bee Gees, and he's like the last surviving Bee Gees, and I went and saw that, uh, saw him with one of my friends at, a, at the concert, and it was like so much, and it was like so much fun. <laughs> Fun because I'm I never the only song this is pretty much the only song I got into by the Bee Gees. I also like Grease is the Word, which is pretty catchy, but this is the only song like that I ever heard in my entire life by the Bee Gees, and it was like so completely catchy. The beat, the rhythm, it's just a catchy, fun song. Number four on my list would have to be one that was played throughout my childhood, which was American Pie. I love American. <coughs> I'm sorry, I have a tickle in my throat. Anyway. I love American Pie. It's one of my all-time favorite songs. Um, it's really catchy. When I was little, my mom used to play it, and sometimes my mom used to play it a lot and turn it up really loud. Um, she still turns it up really loud today. It's pretty catchy, and it's got a good story behind it. For those who don't know what American Pie is about, it's about the story of the plane crash that killed Ricky Val Valance and Buddy Holly. Holly, and it's really sad, but it's a great song. It's got a, a great story behind it. And it's sung by Don McLean, by the way. And by the way, if you guys are interested in that, I will link the me video of me singing that super long song. I will link it down below. And trust me, I don't know if you guys know, but that song is super long. It's like so hard. It was so incredibly hard to sing. My mom tried to sing it once at karaoke, <laughs> and she had a hard time doing it, but I was able to get it. That I don't know how, but maybe hearing the song over and over again when I was younger, it just, um, just got to me. <laughs> anyway, and then number five on my list is one that my, me and my mom love is There's a Kind of Hush by Herman's Hermits. 
I love Hermit's Hermits. I actually got into them when I was a senior in high school because I had never heard of them and I started listening to some of their songs and I thought they were really catchy and I did a huge research project on them. They're great. And this song, there's a kind of how she's cute and romantic. It's one of those cute little romantic songs. Songs that you could just fall in love with someone to. It's really cool. And I do have a video of me singing There's a Kind of Hush, and if you're interested in that, I will link that down below. Number six is um, Wake Me Up Before You Go Go, because it's got a very good beat, and I love the song. It's just really fun. And that's by Wham, by the way. Number seven is Lithium by Nirvana. Um, I like Lithium. It's pretty catch. It's pretty good. Even though it's pretty much a screamo, I don't really like that much screamo music. But who cares? It's really cool. <coughs> my um, sorry. When I was little, my dad played. My when I was little, my mom and my dad used to play Nirvana a lot. My mom likes Nirvana, and so does my dad. Tag. They're pretty good. I don't know. If, I wonder if you have any of you guys ever heard of Nirvana. If you have, let me know down below. I bet a lot of you have. Maybe some of you not. I don't know. Number eight on my list would have to be She's Gone by Hall & Oates. I love Hall & Oates. Um, they're really good. I actually just started listening to them this year. My mom introduced me to them. They're really great. They've got great songs. I love a lot of, I love some of their songs. Like um, I've only heard like three, two or three. But I think they're really good. Good. And I do have a video of me singing She's Gone by Hollow Notes. And if you're interested in that, I will link that down below. Number nine is a cute one. Is a really cute one called So Happy Together by the Turtles. And this song was sang at, played at my mom's wedding when she married um, my dad. It's a really cute little song. And I love the lyrics to how they're put together. They're so cute. Cute. And it's really catchy. Number 10 is Back on the Chain Game by The Pretenders. I have not heard this song in, like, years. It's really good. Um, my dad, I, I think my mom and dad both have played the song when I was a kid, and I've heard The Pretenders, like, so much as a kid. My dad used to play it. My dad has a stereo. I don't know if he still even uses it anymore. More, maybe he does. I don't know. Um, and he used to play that song so much when I was little. <laughs> You know, and it's great, and he used to play The Pretenders a lot. He didn't play the same song over and over again like I used to, when I, like I do. He just played that song, and then he played other songs that were on the album. Okay, so those are my top ten oldies songs. I hope you guys liked this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in another video soon. Bye!